Welcome to the product demonstration for ORCID's Document Management Link. With Document Management Link, we're giving you the ability to store documents outside of SAGE 300 and view those documents from within SAGE 300. You can link these documents to any screen or any field within SAGE 300 and we're providing you with a cost-effective way with which to see that backup documentation. Typically when people think of document management, they think about OCR capture where you can feed a piece of paper into a machine and that machine is able to read the information on the paper and populate the fields within SAGE 300. Those types of document management solutions can get up into the six-figure range. So with ORCID Document Management Link, we're providing you a much more cost-effective solution at a fraction of that price. You can link documents to multiple screens and multiple companies with an easy drag and drop feature for you to store the documents. These documents can be stored in a network folder, they can be stored within SharePoint, OneDrive, Google, Dropbox, and many other mapped shared drives. So now if we move over and have a look at the product, the example configuration for this presentation is around the AP invoice entry. But first, let me show you where I have my documents stored. So if I go to my C drive, I have a folder called ORCID, and within that folder, custom documents. And then I have a number of subfolders for each of the different types of documents that I'm storing. So for today's example, we'll have a look at the AP documents. And within that, we have subfolders for each of our vendor numbers. ORCID Document Management Link is sophisticated enough that if I go to store a document for a vendor that currently does not have a folder, it will create that folder for me and drop the document in. But if we open up our Vendor 1200 folder, we can see the documents that are currently stored for that vendor. Now let's move into Sage 300, where we can open up our AP Invoice Entry Batch and we'll be able to see the AP Invoice Entry screen where we have some configuration for Document Management Link. First of all, one of the newer features is the ability to pin the Document Management Link window to the SAGE 300 screen. This is helpful, especially if you're running multiple companies within SAGE 300, because if a user has more than one company open at any given time, the document management link window will move with the SAGE 300 screen. So if you minimize one company's screen, you'll easily be able to tell which document management link window pertains to that screen. So our configuration today is around our vendor number. So we're linking the field called vendor number, and then based on the value within that field, we'll be able to see the underlying documents. So currently the value within the vendor number field is 1200, so we're seeing the documents associated with vendor 1200. You have the ability to isolate and only see documents against one screen in SAGE 300, or you can configure it to say any field in SAGE 300 that has, in this case, a vendor number field, I would like to see the underlying documents. The first box you see in the document management link window is actually configured against two fields on this screen where we're saying for vendor 1200, I would like to isolate the document that relates specifically to this transaction. That box is blank right now. In just a minute, we'll show you how easy it is for you to drag and drop a document into the document management link window and store that document within the foldering system that you have created. The second box, as I mentioned, is just showing me the documents that relate to Vendor 1200. And we're showing you in today's example how to use Document Management Link with a network folder. But as I mentioned in the introduction, you can also store documents within SharePoint. So the third box that we're seeing here are the documents that have been stored in SharePoint. And you can see not only do you have a file name, 
but you also are able to put in a title for that document within SharePoint. The final box you see, the green box at the bottom of the document management link window, is actually a different product. It is a product that we call Notes. If you look on the ORCID website, you will see a full product demo for the Notes product, but it does work quite nicely in conjunction with Document Management Link, and conceptually is the same type of product in that you can store freeform notes against any field in any screen of Sage 300. To add a new document, you just hover over the Document Management Link window, and you can click on the Add button, and it will take you out to explore and you can go and find the document that you're looking for. We often get the question, how do we scan documents and where do we store those documents? There are multiple options, you know, nowadays most printers are able to scan documents. So you could in fact even have someone in the mailroom doing the scanning of your documents. And they can be stored anywhere in your system. In this example, we have a folder that's called Scan Documents, and we would view that as somewhat like a suspense account, where the documents get scanned into one particular folder, and the users entering the transactions know exactly which folder to go to. They can look for the document that they need, click on that document, drag it and drop it over the document management link window, and you've now moved that document from the scanned folder into the foldering system that you've created within Sage 300. Now in this example you notice the document stayed in place. You have options to copy a document like happened here or you can move the document simply by holding down the control button on your keyboard when you do that drag and drop. The other thing that happened here was it changed the name of my document and that is an optional configuration within Document Management Link where you can specify to change the name of the document. In this case, we've chosen based on the document number field and it's taken the value within the document number field and changed the name of my document. So I can easily see the document that pertains to this particular transaction. Now if we go back to our C drive, uh, custom documents, AP documents, and open up our vendor 1200 folder, we'll now see that invoice 123 has been stored in the folder for us. Document Management Link is configured within a product we call Information Manager. So when I go to the Options and the Notes Document Management Link hotkey, this is where we would come to do the configuration. You can have as many lines of configuration as you need here and store documents against as many fields or screens as you would like within Sage 300. So under the type is where you can choose whether you're storing in a network folder, whether you're storing within SharePoint, or if you're storing a note. The first box for configuration is the Roto ID. Each screen within Sage 300 has an identifier that we call a Roto ID. If I want to store documents against only one screen in Sage 300, then I would put in the Roto ID. We've given you a tool with which to identify the Roto ID. After we've done looking at the configuration, we'll have a look at this tool so that you can easily see how you can find the Roto ID and the correct field name that you want to configure against. The second field that we see is the field label. And if you remember in our example, that was the vendor number. And you'll see the curly brackets value, and I'll explain how we use that in the path to the folder. The second configuration that we did was around the document number field. Then you can see the folder path to the C, ORCID, custom documents, AP documents, and the curly bracket value, this is how the system is able to create a new folder for us. You remember my folders were each uh, of my vendor numbers, and that is the value in this case. And then the rename file to the value to, which represents my document number, that's the configuration that will rename the document for me, but that is an optional configuration. 
And then the final thing you see here is the show alert. The show alert is that document management link window that will pop up and sit on the screen. But if you were configuring notes, then you have some additional options in terms of the notification method and the show alert. You can have the tray icon that's sitting at the bottom of the screen, change color, flash, or you could have a note pop up and fade away. But in the case of document management link, we always show the alert so that that window will pop up and sit on the screen so you can easily see the documents that have been configured. So I keep saying that you can configure document management link around any field on any screen of Sage 300. You can also use document management link for any fully SDK third party product. Just a few limitations in terms of configuration. We cannot configure around a drop down list or against a checkbox. Lastly, we'd just like to show you the tray icon. This is how you can easily identify which screen and which field you would like to configure document management link against. And we suggest that you do use the tray icon because in some cases the same field could have a different field name and vendor number is a good example of that. On some screens you'll see vendor number written in full and on other screens you'll see vendor NO period. So that's why we suggest you use the tray icon to easily identify for you the Roto ID, which is your screen identifier, and the correct field name that you should be configuring against. We'd like to thank you for taking the time today to review this product demonstration. If you would like to see more videos, please go to orchid.systems or contact your local business partner.